heard from. I bought a quote with me today. And he's a guy, he's a guy named George, George Washington. This is what George Washington said. Firearms stand next in importance to the Constitution itself. They are the American people's liberty teeth and keystone under independence. George Mason. George Mason was a rock star. You don't hear about him as much as George Washington, but he was from Virginia. George Mason said this. He was one of the founders. To disarm the people is the most effectual way to enslave them. James Madison, father of the Constitution. Another Virginians. Virginia's pretty good, but we're better. Uh, James Madison. Americans have the right and advantage of being armed, unlike the people of other countries whose leaders are afraid to trust them with arms. That was James Madison 200 years ago. And that is even more so today. Um, some of you may know this, but I spent, uh, I spent four years living in England when I was in my 20s. And uh, some of my friends over there, now England was better then than it is now for a lot of reasons, but England was, uh, is a country where the, owning firearms is something only the very wealthy who have some special permit could do. You cannot own a handgun. You might own a long gun if you have a special permit that is very expensive to go pheasant hunting on a pheasant shoot. But that is the only time, and so guns are exotic in England. And that's one of the better countries in Europe. Some countries, the guns, you just don't see guns. And so I told some of my friends about how, hey, why don't you come to Kansas with me, and we'll go hunting, and, and if it's not hunting season, we'll just go shooting. And uh, here's a bunch of guns, you can shoot this and that, and they, they looked at me like I was from another planet. They thought that this place called Kansas, and this place called America, was some bizarre place where guns are everywhere, and you 